Namaskaram. You just heard a small segment of uh, Alapana and the Kriti Marubalga in the Ragam Sri Ranjani played by Amruta Venkatesh on the Veena. I have started this series to particularly train all of you to listen and learn. Listen to various pitches. Listen to individual as well as group notes, the techniques that are played on the veena or maybe other instruments that you are learning to play. And where are you going to look for these, these things that I mentioned just now? You look for them in alapanas, in sahityams that you hear in kritis or any, any other songs. You hear them in swaram form, formats and so on. That finally you end up recognizing and playing all of these by yourself just by the process of listening. In this uh, context, I am doing a small series on ragas where I aim to introduce groups of notes. Ragas are nothing but groups of notes. Now when you start hearing these groups of notes and then you have a name attached to these group of notes, your ears get to understand it slowly. It's a process. And it requires patience and a lot of perseverance. Now the first raga that I am going to introduce is Sri Ranjani. Now this raga is a janyam of the 22nd Melakarta Ragam Karahara Priya. And it is a Shadava Shadava Ragam. Sarega Madani Sa Sani I have tuned my Veena to pitch E. So you have a Sa, a Shajama. And then you have the Chatushruti Rishabha. Or the Re2. Then you have the Sadharana Gandharam or Gato. I played this Gandharam in Ga itself. And then you have the Suddha Madhyamam. There is no Panchamam in this Ragam. You go directly to Dhatu or Chatushruti Daivatam. And then you have a Kaishiki Nishadam which is Neetu. I took the knee in Da itself. Now you have the same set of notes coming back in the Avrohanam as well. Daivatam itself Ma, and then you have the God being pushed into Rishabha I am going to play the Arohanam Avarohanam of Ragam Sri Ranjani once again Sa Rishabham Re2 take the Gandharam in Rishabham itself Ga ma ma one da daivatam chatushruti daivatam and roll the nishadam in daivatam itself on the return the same thing nishadam is taken in daivatam If you are going to ask me, every time am I going to play Gandharam in Rishabham and uh, Nishadam in Dha itself, the knee in Dha itself? No. Uh, taking the knee in knee itself or taking the knee in Dha all depends on the Sahityam or the placement of phrases, how they have to be characterized in both the Ragam format as well as in the emotion and the of the Sahityam. So a lot of things determine whether you are going to take the Nishadam and Ni itself, the Gandharam and Ri itself. These are things that happen over a period of time of understanding many Ragas. Now some more information about Sri Ranjani. It is a, I, like I told you before, it is a Shadava Ragam. It does not have a Panchama. It is a Upanga Ragam. 
what is the upanga ragam a ragam that has got arohanam and avarohanam both going in an order of frequency after re you have the ga then after ga you have the ma then the da ni all of them increasing in the gradation of frequency and while in the avarohanam they are coming in the decreasing format such ragas are called upanga ragas and then uh, you need to know the jiva swaras or the chaya swaras now what is a jiva swara a jiva swara means an important note of the ragam the uh, a note that keeps coming frequently a note that is capable of being the first note played when you play a, an alapada or a kalpana swara or phrases of shri rajini which note can be taken as the first note for the phrase all of these determine what a jiva swara or a chaya swara of a ragam is in the case of uh, shri ranjani you can safely say that rishabham gandharam dhaivatam and nishada all four of them can be considered as jiva swaras nishadam of these four notes nishadam is the most important uh, jiva swara of shri ranjani why because not only is it uh, a determining factor for identifying the raga it also differentiates itself from abogi if uh, you are all familiar with the ragam abogi sa ri ga ma da sa an out of a ragam it almost carries five of the notes that shri ranjani has with it the only differentiating note between the two being the nishadam so nishadam therefore becomes a very uh, important note of uh, shri ranjani an identifying note uh, a, a note that will differentiate it from abogi so this is something very important that you need to make a note of and then you have the madhyamam i have not spoken about ma ma can also be a starting note a starting note of any phrase or any kirtana is called a grahaswaram a note that is popularly in many of the compositions a starting note that's called a grahaswaram a popular note that forms as an ending note ni da ma ma ga ma da ni sa ni da ma so if a note is very um, frequently it is an ending note in a phrase that note is called a nyasaswaram so in karahara priya ma is a very popular ending note or anyasa swaram there are many phrases that you make um, with ma as a starting note as well so it is also used as a starting as well as a finishing note now why are these small small inputs important to understand a ragam because when you are making phrases as a very new comer to the ragam so these are small things that will help you so you say ri ga dha ni ar graha swaras very good jiva swaras they give life to the Uh, ragam they are frequently used as starting notes so these these inputs will help you to make your phrases in a more confident manner um uh, and then the characteristics of a ragam now you know the physical features of a ragam but with all of these this group of notes of shri ranjani <laughs> notes six notes they form a group and give you the feel of shri ranjani now what is the feel of shri ranjani or what is the emotion that comes out of the ragam it gives the minute you hear it it gives a sense of calm it gives a sense of peace there is happiness in the environment the environment becomes charged with positive energy and this is the big plus of shri ranjani that it brings an instant calm and another important thing about the ragam is it can be played both in the slow as well as the medium format if you want to play really fast maybe shri ranjani is not a ragam played at a medium speed this ragam comes out really well as far as the compositions in this raga is concerned saint tyagaraja has uh, had a big role in bringing out the beauty of this ragam through multiple kirtanas of his Uh, maru balga 
Brocheva Revere. This is not to be uh, confused. Brocheva Revere should not be confused with the Kamas Ragam Brocheva Revarura. That is a different uh, Kirtane. You have uh, uh, Sri Ranjani Kirtane also in this Ragam. Then you have the very famous Suga Suga Mridanga Thalamu. That is also another very famous uh, composition. You have Muthuswami Dikshitars, Sri Dumdurge. Another uh, very, very uh, popular composition. There are many composers who have brought out the beauty of Sri Ranjani in multiple compositions which you can go and check online. Now I am going to play a small alapna. I will give you how the techniques are also done. It can be an interactive exercise. You can play along with me and get to know the ragam much better. Riga, the ga is taken in re itself and when you are playing in the alapana mode a lot of silent notes coming into the picture will make the ragam flow much better. Riga, ma, da, all four were in one strike and I struck the last da. This is how it will sound when you do a vocal version of this particular phrase. Madani dani sa sa Nidani sa That nidani That is a very Sri Ranjani flavor Madani in one strike Take the ni in da itself And then dani sa sa One strike in da for this dani sa sa And rest of the notes are silent once again, Madani Dani Sasa. Sani Nida Dama. You will find in Sri Ranjani a lot of this kind of Jandavarise Prayogas. Sani Nida Dama. Kamadani Sagarisa. Gama Dani in one strike. I took the Gandharam in Ga itself. Gama Dani in one strike. Dani Garisa, where Ga is pushed into Re itself. Nisa Gari Gama Garisa. Nisa Gari. Play the uh, gari in re itself. Push the uh, ga in re itself. And from uh, re again play gama gama garisa. What was this phrase? Nisa gari gama garisa. In the vocal version will sound like this. Dani sa in one strike, the knee played again in da itself. Step back to ma and from ma you push the knee in da and play it like this. Play that madama like you're playing madama in one strike. Gariga. Gariga. First ga is played in ga itself, and the second ga you can roll it in reshaba. Sarigare sanida. You have to play this in the second string because I am using the mantra stai nishadam. Sariga risa, the ga pushed in ri itself, and then the ni da, you can uh, strike both the notes. Now you can also go down to the third string, madhyamam. 
that gives a depth to the ragam the ragam comes out much better when the ma is included here as if you notice it as a nyasa swaram or the ending note na 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 ma ஜஸ்ட் ஸ்மால் um uh, alapana format just to explain just to get that feel of the uh, shri rajini ragam with a new um nishadam is a very important note like i said intonate it really well use janda swarams and uh, see that your uh, uh, some of your phrases end in madhyamam small rules that if you follow your shri rajini ragam will stand out well until i see you in the next video best wishes